Hey lovelies, if you're interested in starting your own business and being your own boss, this is the video for you. This video is for all of my entrepreneurs. It doesn't matter what you sell, if you do crafts or if you sell cosmetics, if you whatever you sell, this is for you. This is for anybody trying to start a business. So the first thing that we're going to do is go through the 10 steps that I have for you guys. And I'm going to break them up as I go down. I feel like I didn't express enough uh, in my previous business video. So I'm really going to break down this business. You feel me? So the first step is to find your niche, find what you want to do. And I know that's, you know, some people might think that's rhetorical for them, but really find what you want to do. Like me, I started off doing nails, but then I went to venture into other things. But I realized nails was my niche. Like, I tried selling lip gloss and this and the third. They sold a little bit. But realistically, at this very moment, nails is what makes it. Nails is what created my brand. Nails is what created Camille Dior. Like, my personality, of course, but me doing nails and giving you guys this tea is what made you guys come to me. You feel me? So, find your niche. Find something you can do for the rest of your days. Find something that you know for a fact if you couldn't do nothing else for the rest of your life this would be the main thing you do as far as employment everything you don't want to start a business because oh, i want the bread i'm with the bread of course you want the bread but you got to make sure that you are willing to do the work keep the time go through the hard days go through the years without sales go through the years where all the bad reviews everything like you need to be prepared like people don't understand a business is just more than your name out there being famous like it is so much more to it so make sure you figure out what you want to do you find your niche you find what is going to work for you what you can do and what people like seeing you do or like seeing you create step two write up a business plan you should not do anything before writing up a business plan and I'm telling you guys this because I am rebranding myself because I messed up I didn't do these things I didn't do any of these things in the order that I should. This, These steps I'm telling you, please do them. I'm currently doing these steps myself. So we're going to do them together because I feel like you need a structured plan. You need to be organized because if you just start, oh, okay, well, bump a business plan. I'm going to go buy all this product. I'm going to waste my god dang money. And then I'm going to change my mind and do all this other stuff. Business plan isn't just for logistics. People say, oh, you don't need a business plan until you go out and go try to get funding. No, you need a business plan so you know what you're doing. Like, I know it sounds like I'm really passionate and aggressive about it, but I really am, you guys. Like, I wanted to do this because I have a lot of people always asking me about the business side of this. And I want you guys to know because I don't want you getting sued. I don't want you owing the thousands thousands of dollars i don't want your business to fail like i want you all to be great you feel me so do a business plan the business plan isn't just to talk about the money your um what is it your mission statement is in there what is going to be on your page what is going to be on your about us in that business plan it's going to give you everything you need like and you can google all type of business plans um i'm gonna tell you guys about a program i just found that uh you guys can learn all of that but you can google business plans temp templates how to write a business plan it's going to show you it's going to show you everything you need and sometimes certain businesses don't start a business plan until they do go get funding but that doesn't make sense to me as young entrepreneurs or whatever entrepreneur you are you should know what you want to do you should know your color scheme of your business you should know where you want to get your logo you should have idea everything but they're just ideas you need to have multiple ideas just in case the, the one you had originally didn't plan out because you're going to want to change you're going there's going to be months of finalization before you you find exactly what business name you want what picture you want what colors everything and that that i'm telling you from experience you guys seen me change my brand twice already three no twice yeah twice already because i wasn't sure and i'm glad i didn't sign on the dotted line and make any of that permanent because i would have been screwed out a lot of money so definitely write a business plan okay step three choose a business name you see how business plan came before the name yeah you should not be stuck on worrying about a business plan. I mean, not a business plan. 
you should a business name outright you need to know what you're doing you need to know like you have to know exactly how do i say you have to know what you're doing you have to come up with the the foundation first and then you build the name is part of the foundation but once you get that business plan rolled out and you know exactly what you want the name will come easier i guarantee it i guarantee it i'm struggling with the name right now and as far as the name you have to make sure that it is available in your state whatever um, state you're in they cannot have the same business name as you and I mean, you can't have the same business name as them. Like it, you have to make sure it's unoccupied. It, you have to make sure it's available. Uh, also for domain use, your business.com and your usernames for your social media. You know how hard it was for me to find, like I came up with something in my head. I was like, boom, I, I got this. It's my name. Boom. It was like 15 other people with that same name. I was like, yo. Well, selling your products online should just be the beginning. I know COVID is still up, but once you can get up to a pop-up shop, you can get to a mall kiosk, um, get, you know, get your items in there, get a storefront, whatever you can do if you have the funds or, you know, everybody's different. So some people that are just starting their business, they probably could afford to do this. They probably have family who already have a storefront or something like that. So you should think bigger. Don't just settle for, oh, the internet is big, but in-person interaction is much more warming. I know it's a lot harder because some people don't want to be bothered, but realistically, if you work hard enough, you will be able to get sales that quick in person because that product is right there. They don't have to wait for shipping. They can try it on right there if you let them. They can actually see the product for themselves, hold it, feel it. Selling in person is a great way, but you have there's a lot more that comes with step four is to select a business entity now your business entities are your sole proprietorship partnership limited liability company your llc's and your uh corporations so i'm gonna go through give you guys a definition and then uh more information will be in the description box below so you guys can choose which one is best for your business a sole proprietorship is the simplest form of a business structure but it lacks but its lack of limited liability offsets the simplicity. Partnerships, while this form of business structure might appeal to you if you are embarking on your venture with a partner, your limited li your liability is limited like a sole proprietorship. So with sole proprietorship and partnerships, you do not get limited liability and that's a problem. So. Uh, LLCs, limited liability company. An LLC offers limited liability without the additional complexity of incorporation, making it one of the most popular small business structures. The next one is corporation. Like an LLC, a, like a LLC, a corporation provides limited liability, and while it is more complicated to both set up and maintain, it is it may be a great choice depending on your circumstances. So I personally use LLC. That is how my business entity will be conducted. <laughs> it will be under a LLC. But like I said, you guys can figure out which one works best for your certain business. Step five, define your product and service. So defining it, you got your business plan. You already got it all nice and, and well. And now you're ready to actually put it forth. You found your business name. You did all the previous steps. Now it's time to get your products. It's time to make sure that you got everything that you need in order. You got to make sure that your product is in demand. And also you got to make sure you find your ideal customer. Make sure you find your client group. Find who you want to sell to. If you want to sell to single moms, uh, if you want to sell to teenagers, if you want to sell to kids, if you want to sell to older, elder people, find your target area, find that age range, find that personality that create that character that you want to sell to. And that'll make it a lot more easier for you to sell your products. Step number six, get the proper licensing permits and insurance. So make sure you register your business with the proper authorities. This is really important. Now I'm going to talk about when to apply for a business license, all of that. But I just want to let you guys know, you can get sued, you can go to jail, or you can be in thousands, thousands, hundreds of thousands 
dollars of debt for not doing this they can suspend your license they can shut down your business forever they could take your driver license i think i just said that they could they could do a lot of things so please make sure you guys do not mess up your life integrity because you do not register your business okay please make sure you go into google and you type in if you live in chicago illinois you better type in google how do i get a business license in chicago illinois you know, or in an exact, you know, county you in or, you know, whatever. Make sure, to, uh, look, put the street address up there if you need to. But make sure you find out exactly what it takes, how much the business license is, what are the requirements. Because I know certain states have certain requirements. We all have different requirements for a reason. We're all individual states, okay? So what it takes for me to get a business license here in Virginia might not help you in California or, you know, wherever you at <laughs> so that is the first thing the second thing is to obtain the proper permits and licenses if your business is at like the business people think business is just selling product if you are a licensed nail tech or lash tech or whatever you still need a business license to operate your business whether it's from your home or at a shop so either way, you're still going to need to make sure you get proper licenses, permits. If you're, and especially for like pop-up shops and kiosks and stuff, like that stuff is important. So make sure that you check into what permits, licenses you need to do what you do. Because like I said, it's important. Um, What else? Because certain states require you to have it. But all this determines is determined by your specific state. The next thing is making sure that you meet all the federal and state tax requirements such as applying for your federal and state tax id number they're going to give you a number if you go to your website i mean if you go to your local tax website if your state has sales tax um how do i register for sales tax in virginia boom like you know and then it'll bring up the website it'll tell you everything please don't click on the ads you got to scroll down make sure you got dot gov dot org behind behind it please don't just give anybody your money because you think they like no especially when it comes to getting your ein number please make sure that you get it from a legit site i think the IR, they do it on the irs site i think I don't know. I'll put it, the link in the description box if it is that. But make sure you guys go to legit websites to do your business stuff. Don't do not do all those little advertisements. I know not to their game, but some of them are not legit, okay? So as far as your business license and at what point do you need to apply for a business license? I got this off of a website. I'm going to put it in the description box because y'all can't say I told y'all wrong information when it's flat right here, okay? In some areas, you may not need to apply for a business license until you reached a specific revenue threshold. So, in some areas, you may not have to get a business license. It didn't say some states. It didn't say some counties. It said some areas. So, you could live somewhere, and the state probably requires the whole state, to, like, you know, your business license but if you live in a little hick town like me they might not have you get your business license right then you might have to reach over ten thousand uh dollars of income before they ask you to you know get a business license you know some sometimes small businesses are small for a reason okay um in other regions you may need to obtain a license before you sell anything 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 so I need, you know, you got to make sure you you got the right information and you in the right area. But it says to determine your local laws, please visit the SBA website. The SBA is the Small Business, small business, the small business Administration. I have the link below and I'm going to tell you guys some other stuff they have, which is really dope. And I'm really glad I found it. Um, the next part of it, it says, however, regardless of whether a business license is license is required there are benefits to registering your business there definitely is it's a lot of business it's a lot of benefits for being a self-employed person especially when it comes to taxes um you can claim tax deductions tax deductions are like when you spend your money on all your equipment you can get money back when you file your taxes if you say hey i took my own money out and i bought all the supplies for my business and they'll you know give you some money back for doing that so. another reason why 
getting a business license is so important is because it shows legitimacy. Like, you guys know the uh, Be Better Business Bureau. I think that's what it's called. And you can search up any business that is legit, that has a business license. You can see, you know, the ranking on there and whether or not it's legit. It People need to make sure you're legit before they give you your money. And it also helps you find partnerships and get funding. You have a business license. Most of the, I mean, when you go apply for business loans and stuff, they want you to have your business license there, the number of your business license or a copy of it. So they can know your real business. You're not just going to take their money and go to the casino. You get what I'm saying? So uh, what you need to obtain a business license. So now that I've told you about when to apply for a business license, you probably know what you need to obtain a business license. Well, the first thing you're going to do is to make sure you identify your business entity that means is it a sole proprietorship is it a llc that is the first thing you need to worry about when getting a business license as well as how much it costs the next thing is to determine no actually to add a detailed description of your business activity so what do you do what is your business what do you have like what are you going to be doing with this business and that is why you created a business plan because your business plan is going to knock out almost all of these things okay the next one is a sales tax license, which you obtain from your state. Go to the website, get a sales tax ID, and there it is. Step seven is to determine where you want to sell your products. Now, I already made a video on this, so I'm not going to go into it in depth. But I had a lot of people asking me, like, why do I need a website? Why can't I sell from Instagram? You definitely can. You can sell from Instagram. You can sell from Facebook. You can sell from Etsy. You can sell from Amazon. You can do all these different platforms for you to sell i just think that websites are more legitimate they look more proper they're easy to work i don't know anything about instagram i haven't sold on instagram i'm i told you guys i'm not really social media savvy yet but i'm working on it but i just know i like a nice little website i can go to the little website look at everything look at the presentation it's about presentation legitimacy and a professional presence as a business you don't want to you know not be proper like taking orders out the dm is fine if you just started and you still practice the nails but people want some sets cool but when you get your price list you start taking all these nice photos and you start actually getting 10 15 plus orders you need to start a website trust me it is so much better and it's a lot easier to keep track of your sales because you're going to have to pay taxes you're gonna have to file taxes and say hey this is where that money went i can prove it da, 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 da. like i don't like instagram because i can't keep track of my orders as far as i know i haven't did it but i feel like i want if i want to be able to keep track i want to be able to have an excel spreadsheet of it without having me i can just print it out i don't have to figure out any you know, of all of that stuff but i'm not down to instagram when it comes to selling in the marketplace i think that's a great idea i just haven't had any experience with it but like I said, decide where you want to sell your products and then you'll be okay. Step number eight, find small business funding. Now I'm going to tell you right now, finding small business funding is hard, especially if you do not have, if you have not already had your business started for some years, uh, finding business loans are not going to be easy. Opening a line of business credit, which is different than your actual credit, is a little hard if you don't already have good credit. But one thing you can do is ask family, ask friends. I see a lot of people doing the, um, hey, if you support my small business, cash at me $3 from all my friends and family. You know, that $3 will add up, no cap. Or you get out a smaller personal loan. You could do... Um, a couple other things if you guys want a video on like how to fund your business let me know i'll break it down some stuff but if you guys really want like money and you guys need money in life too definitely suggest doing instacart and doordash i do both and i've made a lot lot of money definitely definitely kept the bills fed lights on the bills fed the bills paid us fed the lights on and funded the majority of my business okay um so Small business funding, find funding for your business. Step number nine, order and organize supplies. That's bittersweet depending on if you're crafting it yourself. Like I say, don't, don't like order what you need to make the products, but don't order too much just yet. Like 
packing stuff make sure you know exactly what you want to do because it depends because some people only want to sell like 10 piece nails but some people want to sell 20 piece nails and if you buy the decor or the packaging for the 10 piece sets and your 20 piece sets can't fit in and you'd have had like a change of heart and you're like oh well, i want to make 20 piece sets you kind of screwed because you spend all this money on these expensive nice branded packaging and you can't use them because your nails won't fit in there so definitely be mindful of that okay step number 10 is start marketing your products so that means go on your social media start posting your launch start posting your products do all you need to do make sure you do your photo shoots prior to your launch day like maybe a week before your launch day so you can have everything edited nice and pretty that's word of mouth marketing advertisement um finding out if you want to do traditional ads so you want to do uh uh instagram ads if you want to do facebook ads if you want to pass out business cards at the mall like whatever way you want to advertise do what you do um I already have a video. I'll post it in the card so you guys can see that because I really just don't want to go over all that when I have a video for it, okay? A couple other things I'm going to touch base on before we have this video go to a end. Um, EIN numbers. EIN numbers are employee identification numbers. They fall into the um, uh, LLC type frame, but I forgot to mention that. Um, like it, it goes into your business entity. So you'll get your EIA number and then you get your LLC and all that stuff. I think they actually come together. It's been a while since I did it, but it, all the information will be in the description. But a EIN number is a personalized nine digit number provided by the IRS to your business entity in the United States. So that tracks your business and to see when you go to do your sales tax and stuff, you're going to give them your EIN number. When you go apply for grants and stuff, I think they ask for it. When you go apply for any type of funding, they ask for it. Um, what else? Um, when you create your website, like on Shopify, I think they ask for it too. But it's also a form to say, hey, my, my business is legit and all of that. So something that I want to touch base on because this actually pertains to me. <laughs> Um, a DBA, a DBA is a doing business as like, I'm doing business as Camille Dior. Camille Dior is not my name. Camille is part of my name, but it's not my first name. It's not my last name. So it's like, you have to do this to ensure that you don't get fined. Like I'm just here. So I don't get fined. So, uh, DBA is if you don't plan to use your legal name or official business name. Now, if you have a business name, like if your business name on your website is different than what's on your LLC or not your LLC. Well, yeah, pretty much like your EIN number. If your EIN number and your business name or your website is different, then you're going to need a doing business as like it's like a precaution to make sure that you don't get fined so it is required by most states even if you have an llc or a corporation you have to have that if you are doing business as a different name like me i when i have my business or whatever it's not gonna be i'm trying not to have any spoilers you guys but like if i if i have camille uh nails by camille dior right that's not my first name that's not my last name but if that's not the thing that if that's not my LLC, like say if I started my LLC off as um, Nail Chronicles, like, I don't know, sorry if that's somebody's name, I was just using it as an example, but if that's what my LLC is registered under, but I'm doing business as Nails by Camille Dior, then I would have to have a DBA. A DBA alerts your county or state that your business intends so go by a name that's different from your personal name or your official company name. And it keeps you compliant wherever a DBA is required. Now, registering a federal trademark isn't a requirement, but it's something that you can apply for to get exclusive rights and protections over your brand name across the 50 states. Now, like, trademarking is like, um what can i say trademarking is like trademarking is like reebok 
and, and like Beyonce, like those are trademark names. Like somebody can't say, oh yeah, I'm Beyonce or I'm Beyonce knows. Like they can't use that for business. Like they'll get sued out the ass. So a DBA is different. That's just saying, hey, I'm not using my name on my business, but it's my business. Now, if you were using, the only way you would need a DBA is if you if you use your real name. So say if, for example, we got uh, Jane Doe. So if you and Jane Doe has a bakery, so you can say baked goods by Jane Doe or Jane Doe Bakery um, or whatever you may call it. So that way, that's the D, that is when you don't need a DBA because your name is in that name of your business. Like that's on your LLC and that's what she's, you know, she's using, you know, on her business. Like that's what her company is by. There's no other name. Okay. Um, say if you have cosmetics, right? You have a, a bit, I'll use an example. The sassy style, boom. That's what I had. That was my business. And say if I created Camille's Cosmetics. Camille's Cosmetics would have to be the DBA. And the sassy style would have been the LLC. And the Camille's Collections would be inside of it it's like having a business inside of a business you know you got to make sure it's legit so if you i'm only telling you guys this so you guys know just in case you're you sell multiple products say if you sell skincare but you want to venture off and impress on nails instead of starting separate businesses you could say hey i'm also doing business as blank blank blank, blank. so before i end this video i want to share with you guys these two resources that i found that will be a great help for you guys so the first one is exchange the website is exchangemarketplace.com you can sell your store you can buy stores and you can uh, find drop shipping stores to you know take over on Shopify there are Shopify stores that people are selling and they range from different prices or you can sell your store if you have a Shopify store and you feel like you know you can't handle it, you can't manage it or you want to do something else but you don't it's a great idea sell it on exchange marketplace and it actually tells you that you can like when you go to close your store you, you could close it pause it that's why i like shopify because you can pause your store you can close it or you can sell it so you know i could have sold my store to one of you guys but i digress so i'm telling you guys about the exchange marketplace because if you guys want to start a business but you don't want to go through the hardship of all this extra stuff you can find somebody else if you can't think of a business idea i mean a business you know a business name anything like that Go to exchangemarketplace.com. You can search through all of them. It's all different types of businesses. It's most of them I've seen are, you know, just started. They have, like, all the information you need. The prices vary. I think some of them start as low as, like, $50. Some of them might be lower. I don't remember. I haven't looked in a while. But I know there's some that's, like, three bands to start. But definitely check out Exchange Marketplace if you guys are interested and getting a website without having to do all the hard costs yourself. So the next thing I want to tell you guys about is the SBA Learning Center. I really want to do a video on this, like a separate video, because it gives you everything you need to learn how to start your business. It gives you the logistics part, like the legal part. It shows you how to write a business plan. It even has something for young entrepreneurs. And the best thing about this is they have another type. That's one learning center. They have another program, which is called Ascent. And it's for women entrepreneurs. It goes through a whole course of teaching us how to do it and it's free it's free access to all this information on the sba website i never knew about this my business could have been at eight figures by now 10 figures if i i know it's six figures i'm just talking but um <laughs> i really could have grown my business greatly if i really like Instead of doing, I was going around the bush stressing because I can't find information I need, just go to the SBA website, click the links down in the description, go take the learning course and learn how to run your business effectively. I'm going to do it myself as well. And I really want to do an extra video so I can show you guys exactly what's on the page and stuff like that. But click the links. Check it out. That is it for this video. I hope it helped. I hope it was more in depth. I hope you guys learned a lot from it. Thank you guys for watching and stay tuned for my next video.